Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki and I enjoy drawing and painting. Um, on this video I'm going to share a little watercolor that I decided to do. This sketchbook that I have, I have designated it to be full of images from a trip that uh, my family took to Europe a couple years ago. Everything was very beautiful and so I decided I wanted to dedicate a full journal to it. And so I've, I've only just started a few months ago. I have a few other images I've watercolored and I'm, I'm sticking mostly to watercolor in this one. Um, so this one is a sketch from Stonehenge. I decided to do, since it was a landscape portrait, I decided to do the picture across the two pages and make it really, really big. So right now I'm just outlining um, the sketch that I had done previously with a fine liner it's a waterproof fine liner and so i'm just sketching everything out uh real quick and endless um this trip we took it, it, I, it was just beautiful and i wish i had the time there to do more artwork and instead i just photo focused on taking a bunch of photographs and now i'm going back and working on landscapes and urban sketching from all the images and um, I'm a lot more comfortable doing landscapes than I am the urban sketches, and so that's been a little bit of a challenge. So you just saw me go through and erase all my pencil lines, and then that, that was the photograph, um, I, the original photograph that I was my reference. And what I did, what you saw is there was a little bit of tracing paper, so I had originally traced out the shapes just so I can get a loose idea of uh, the shapes that were there. And then I also took the photograph into my uh, photo editing software and I did some color picking to kind of see what some of the colors were. Um, there's a lot of neutrals in there, a lot of the grays and everything, but I wanted to see what some of the base colors were. And that was kind of a helpful little trick because I was actually surprised in the sky I picked up um, some pink tones in the clouds where to my eye I just thought it was just blue and white from the clouds. So. I did my wash for the sky and I mostly did a little bit of just a pale blue, but I did put in a little bit of um, pinks. And the watercolors I'm using, it's a mix. They are from, uh, there's some Sennelier colors, there's some Daniel Smith colors, and then there's a few Winsor Newton colors. And so I just did for the sky, I used cobalt blue and a quinacridone magenta and just kind of put that in. Um, there you saw my video cut out a little bit. I somehow, my, I was recording on my phone and it got messed up and I missed a piece of my recording. So I got my first rocks colored in. Um, when I did the color picking on the computer, there was a lot of oranges in, in the rocks. And so I went with a Chinese orange and a little bit of ultramarine to neutralize the colors. And then a little bit of viridian green in there. And those were the three main colors that I used for all of the stones just kind of mixed them to different ratios to get the different colors. For some of the shadows, I added just a little bit of a quinacridone purple just to deepen some of them. Um, but mostly I'm just filling in the shapes. Um, one of the things I love about watercolor is the way that the colors just move and blend on the page and it worked really well for the stones here to, to get that. So I do a little bit of a smooth color and then come in back in with a little bit more color over it and just do layers to get the different textures. So um, this trip, we took it summer two years ago now and we stopped at, our, our first stop was in Bruges in Belgium and then our next stop was in Paris and then our last stop was London. So when we were in London, we took a day trip out here to Stonehenge. Um, one of the things that was that I was both surprised by and really appreciated in Stonehenge is that they don't let you walk right up to the rocks. They're trying to preserve it. But one of the things that I enjoyed about that is with taking the photos, it was very easy to zoom in and you wouldn't get a bunch of people in your pictures. And so it was just very serene. And uh, looking back at all my photos, they were, I, I loved them. They were some of my favorites from the trip. So I was really it, looking forward to getting a page from that into this sketchbook that I've done. Uh, you saw a little bit of the photo there, and I'm not sure if you could see it, but when I did the color picking, 
trick that I mentioned earlier in, in my photo software, I then went back with some colored pencils and kind of colored a little bit of those colors over my photograph just to see what they looked like so that I would have a better idea when I actually went into my painting uh, with what colors I wanted to use and bring forward. Um, I'm just continuing to build my layers, add my shadows in to, to all the stones. Um, so yeah, I, you know, just keep going. This took a while. It probably took me about two hours to, to do all of this in here. And so obviously I've sped it up and working very fast on the, the video is only a few minutes. Um, there was, there's my head <laughs> getting the film. Sorry about that. Um, And I tried to do where I wasn't right up next to the other stones. I kind of like would skip a little space so that they had a little bit of time to dry just a little bit so that they weren't going to run into each other with the paint. Um, sometimes that's nice with watercolors, getting that mix of, of uh, the bleed through, bleeding of the different objects and stuff, but I didn't want it in this one. I just kind of wanted it to be somewhat clean. Okay, so um, I guess I should talk a little bit about the paints that I'm using. The I have the palette. You see a little bit of it. It's one of those. Uh, is it Magello? Magello palettes. Um, it's got 18 wells, and I, I really do like this palette. I have a couple of them, and this particular set that I've done, it's a mix of some Sennelier paints uh, and some Daniel Smith paints. I did the the Daniel Smith paints were part of a set um, that I got and then I just kind of filled in different colors and it's it's not necessarily all my favorite set of colors I was just trying out a few different things uh, when putting together my own palette um, I just really wanted to kind of pick my own colors and play with setting up my own color schemes and 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 everything and it works but there's a few colors in here that I'm are not my favorites and it's and I would like to switch them out as I use them up so yeah here I am still painting rocks um, <laughs> if you've seen my channel I only have a few videos so I'm, I'm new to this and, and figuring it out and trying to figure out what to say as I'm talking over this is proving to be a little bit of a challenge I uh, totally underestimate when I see all these YouTube videos of, of stuff so Please bear with me as I'm learning all of this and um, playing with ex different equipment and hopefully I'll be getting better, better equipment, more comfortable with filming and talking and camera stuff. So um, it's, I, I'm enjoying that process too, being creative. Uh, it's the, I love the painting and the drawing, but kind of venturing on this YouTube side is, has been fun too, learning the learning the different all the stops so um, I'm going in here and just adding building up my shadows and the dark layers for where the rocks stand on each other um, this is where I start putting in probably a little bit of the uh, purple colors for the shadows and you know building and going back and getting the rocks that I skipped over and stuff um, and so far I, I really like how this one is turned out it's one of my favorite in this sketchbook uh, I just landscapes are easier for me uh, years ago after college I went back and I took a watercolor class um, I took it because I just wanted learning painting and I didn't realize at the time just how different watercolor was from acrylic or oil and when I signed up for it I, it just fit my schedule and I was just wanting any painting class and I was really surprised with with watercolor and with how different it was and it, in a good way I really fell in love with it and I I did it for a little while and then I stopped and I just didn't do any watercolor for a long time didn't do art for a long time until a couple years ago I decided I wanted to start doing more more stuff with it again I just missed it I missed all the things I was making and so watercolor is one of those things I, I picked up again and went 
crazy and then hoarded a bunch of watercolor supplies and just kept buying stuff and now I'm at a point where I'm actually starting to get more comfortable with it again and starting to use it more um, but in my class it was most of the work that we did was landscape stuff so this was very comfortable for me to go back to with this painting and just focus on landscape uh, design and, and and colors there you see me going back I just did the little trees and stuff in the background horizon uh, Stonehenge it's it's a grassy area very flat there's a few like just small hills around and then you look out in the distance and there's uh, the trees in the distance so here I am finally going in and, and putting in a light green wash for the grasses on, on the hills and and all in the grasses in the photo there was a mix of yellows and greens with a little bit of orange touches from the flowers that were there so I just did this wash that's kind of a yellowy green color and then I came back in and started darkening it up with some a little bit of greens and I'll do some yellows in some areas and kind of just build build up those layers because um, that's the thing with watercolor you just keep going in and you start light and just kind of build up all your details and by doing that you get these beautiful colors the transparency of them just it it really grows and and you you can tell when you look at them if you've just done one wash over something versus multiple and and just building up those those colors and the way they interact with each other uh, i i love it i watercolors one of my favorite mediums um and so i i'm really enjoying that having this particular sketchbook uh, to work with where i'm dedicating it just to watercolors and it's a it's a pretty good sketchbook it's one of those handbooks um travel log handbook and it's the larger i think eight by ten size by it and the paper's really nice really sturdy um to hold up to all the the water that gets put on it um so yeah just working on some of the shadows in there it was daytime so there's not a whole lot of like cast shadows and stuff they're all pretty much um right overhead so it there what there wasn't a lot of you know dramatic stuff which is kind of nice because then the focus is just on the stones um and the the different colors and shapes in there um so here i am I'm almost done with it just adding the last little bits of final touches and you see me there looking at my reference photo and double checking stuff making sure I have everything in that I want to have in and uh, yeah again like I said this one I, I really enjoy how it turned out um, you, you know as I build more I'm sure I will do more videos in here uh, with this sketchbook uh, more of my travel things and I hope you really liked it um, thank you so much for for watching and listening to me ramble on and chat and we'll see you next time bye